Hey Zoo family, it's just Timmy and Mommy and I for the moment. We're gonna go get the rest of the kids from school later, but Timmy gets off school before everyone else because he's only in preschool. Next year he will be going into kindergarten and we get this little buffer of time between the time he has to come home and the time everyone else comes home. And sometimes we get to do special things with him that we are not gonna get to do much longer because he'll be a big kid in big kid school. So we're taking him to lunch today to the Pizza Hut buffet and he thinks that's really special and so does mommy, she's in the mood for it too. So yeah, we're doing that because he will be graduating next month. I mean, can you believe that? Nope. He'll be graduating pre-K next month and we will have four kids in elementary school. It's the end of an era. It's the end of little kids in our house. What am I gonna do with my time? I don't know, I guess whatever you want, right? You excited for pizza? Ready for all you can eat pizza? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah. Kind of eating a lot. What's your favorite type of pizza? Sausage, pepperoni, anchovies, anchovies. No, cheese and pepperoni. Cheese and pepperoni. Do you want me to put more cheese on it? He wants to do it. Too big, such a big kid. <laughs> Am I blocking you from getting out? Oh, my bad, my bad. That was a quick lunch, wasn't it? Let's go. Good? What you doing? Like math? Okay. Cool. 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 cool, cool, cool. Is math still your favorite subject in school? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't think that would change. What are you doing, Logan? What are we doing here, huh? Time. Sign. Oh. Just pull in a sentence. Logan is doing a memory game where he has words he has to match and memorize the sight words because they're important for his grade level. When he memorizes them, he'll move up to the next reading level. Oh, mm. I know that one. Hmm. Did he get it? Did he get it? Oh, he got it! Good job. So I'm headed to a meeting now. I wanted to let you all know about it because it's something, you know, that's part of my life that I've been involved in for a while. I'm part of a group that is now called Connecting Hands and it's here in our local community and our whole purpose for getting together is to um, work together to put agencies together like in partnership to help the impoverished in our community. We've actually been working on this for quite a while. There's pastors who are part of it, churches obviously, um, partner agencies in the organization, food pantries, and it's like all of these people coming together to not only pray for but try and find practical ways to really help um, the impoverished get out of poverty. Um, that's a part of my life. It's something I'm really passionate about. And I've really never shared that on our channel before, but I figured I'd, I'd share it because I found myself on the way to a meeting and I thought, you know what? Uh, the zoo family doesn't really know that part of, uh, of our life, but that's, that's part. <laughs> that's part. So I'm headed into the meeting now. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey zoo family. So you know how particular Caleb is with his hair and he's getting his hair cut next. <laughs> oh buddy. So we were gonna do one kid at a time, but because it's after school, we're just gonna get two boys knocked out in one day, and I'm gonna actually get my hair cut, not cut, but trimmed a little bit too. You're reading what? Newspaper. Mm -hmm. You ready to get I your haircut? Can I get back cut it? Yes, we're gonna cut the back. Okay, but not like bald. No, not like bald. <laughs> It's good. <laughs> you have no emotion. For such a happy go lucky kid, you are not that right now, huh?
love it. Thanks for watching Zoo Family. Make sure you're subscribed because we're going live when we hit 60,000 subscribers. We'll see you soon.